back door You cannot touch me anymore I stretch my limbs on your rack no more I push my boat off from your shore different bands like seriously when he becomes like Carly Rae Jepsen famous the hipsters are going to have an absolute field day with Absolutely. all of his earlier albums so uh, filled for talent it's just you know how deep does it go it's amazing yeah Absolutely amazing. great stuff from Simon Kelly typical you're watching West Turn It Up WA by the way typical Western Australian acts here uh, so we, you got down to the magazine showcase I believe and, the uh, Wire magazine showcase yes, yeah and, and you got you got to talk to writers and, and photographers and a whole heap of the likes behind the scenes sort of stuff that uh, how did that go Oh, fantastic. And you know what? It, it really, you need these guys for these bands to become famous. It's not all about the bands. That's not absolutely. It's a lot of people behind the scenes making it happen. Let's check it out. Yeah. When you're an up and coming band, there is nothing more valuable than some positive media coverage. So we're here tonight at the bakery at the Wire Magazine Showcase to take a look at how some of our awesome music magazines contribute to the success of our local musicians. Now tell me, what is the awesome power of the music magazines to make or break a band? Well, in the case of The Wire, I guess it's part of a bigger publication, so uh, the circulation is a very important thing and when you've got a mag of that size and with that sort of reach it's really good to have an original component that supports original music nights like this, bands like this. Uh, it's very important. What's the best part about photographing the bands? Uh, well, probably just because I'm, I'm a music fan, probably the best part is just being able to get so close you, and you're allowed to go as close as you want 
sometimes at festivals when everyone else has run off to another another band sometimes you get to watch a band for a couple of songs and it's and there's no one else there and it kind of feels like they're just playing to you our awesome WA Music Magazine has been to your success so far? Massively. Massively? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a really big part of it, you know, just um, especially the first time you, you see your name in print or you see your gig listed in the gig guide, it's it's pretty important. Every week, every band in, in Perth goes straight, to, if, they get, if they play the gig, they're straight to the review section and look for a review, whether it be good or bad. And everyone wants a good photo taken of them. You know, every band wants a good, good live photo. We got a good tip the other day, a photographer guy said, you know, taking a good photo is something you have to learn. And yeah. so don't just assume that you can stand there and it'll automatically look good. We, yeah. That doesn't work for us yeah, at, yeah, all. at all. Do you guys have a good side? Can you show me? Yeah, pretty uh, much. No, we don't. Because we either way we stand, we look awkward. <laughs> so like, that's kind of our thing. to some up-and-coming bands who really want to get into your magazine but you know might not have the the pull to do so um these days marketing is a big thing it's it used to be about music man but uh these days marketing is very important as well every time you've got something coming up something on the calendar make sure we know about it make sure all the street press know about it and just keep touching base because the name stays in people's heads and then when it's time to sort of you know get some editorial for something you'll be recognized and you've got a better chance What an awesome night. Now, you know, I think a lot of musicians could learn from those music writers and photographers and things like that because you just, you can't have really good music without putting the word out there to the media no, they outlets, do a great you? job. Yep. They do an amazing job to expose the Western Australian music industry, in, yep. you know, from behind the scenes. You need the exposure. But I'll tell you what, right now, the devil rides out is with us with a, uh, a video that we're going out with later on called Broken White Line. Now, you guys um, had, um, had a great deal of fun tracking down Gary Young, who were the main who was the actual main director and, and um, actor of that movie, yes, Cozy, that. Cozy Cool. Now tell us about that adventure trying to track him down. Well, I suppose it started with, with Joey. Joey, Joey uh, K, the singer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was a big fan of that sort of, uh, what are they called, like uh, B kind of cast movies that are really cult kind of, Australian kind of cult movies. And he it was, was a very cult movie yeah, back in the 1970s. Yeah, yeah. I know there was a huge lot of trouble that came off of it, the back of it, for all the guys that were in, involved in the movie because they weren't sort of really actors or anything like that. They were just normal guys and normal bikies. And I know there was a lot of trouble that came off the back of that. But uh, no, Joey K seemed to really uh, try his hardest to track down, track down Gary and get it all, uh, get it all okayed and done. So. How did it come about to use that? movie for, for your film clip, uh, Broken White Line. Yes, that's it, Broken White Line. Yep. Um, how did it come about? Uh, Joey, yeah, Joey likes to go and search for stuff on the net and then he uh, asked the guy for permission to do the clip and then um, he was a bit reluctant to sort of release any video footage and uh, he said, I want to hear his song first. So Joey put the song towards him um, and then he said, yeah, sweet, go ahead and then Joey just pretty much got it and then mixed little bits and pieces through and so nice. tell us about the song itself. So I mean obviously it was enough to impress this guy. Um, what's it about? It's about travelling on the road. Uh, hence, hence the, the broken name. White line. Yeah, yeah, broken white line, <laughs> like uh, just doing tours and just spending a stupid amount of hours. Keeping the dream alive. Yeah, that's it, yeah, keeping, keeping the dream, the dream alive. Yeah. Just yeah, stupid amount of hours just on the road, just going watching it dunk, dunk, dunk. And yeah, just missing your family. Antiques and, and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you tend to write a lot of your music on the road? Yeah. A, lot of, a lot of bad jokes on the road. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> now, yeah. I know that you guys are working on an EP at the moment. How's that all going? Very good. Come along very well. Yeah? We've got uh, six songs, five songs? Yeah, six to five songs. There's one that we're just going to fix up a little bit more and then uh, it's going to be more of a, like a, a real bluesy, yeah. sort of dirtier Who's sound. producing that, guys? 
uh, Al from Begurk, working with him, like we've worked with him a lot before, and I've worked with him a lot before and had a lot of fun and we really kind of trust his, trust his effort and trust his work. So awesome, well I'm definitely forward. looking forward to hearing that from you. Now that's it from us for today, I hope you guys have got your music fixed this week, make sure you tune in next week. I'm Antonio Career. this is Nikita Dixon. We are going out today with Broken White Line by The Devil Rides Out, but see you next time.